Hey, there you are. Welcome back to the 4th and Flex Fantasy Football Podcast. I am, of course, Bandy, here discussing the defending Super Bowl champion Rams and all of their fantasy relevance. Will they repeat? Will they run it back? Guess we're going to find out. Let's go. All right, y'all made it back to the 4th and Flex Fantasy Football Podcast, where all your wildest fantasies come true. I am your host, tearing up the fantasy roster since 09. Oh yes, it's me, it's Bandy. And we can't forget about a man who knows his shit and he will never quit. I'm talking about your boy, Trey. How's the world treating you, Trey? Pretty good, man, pretty good. Having a good fourth so far. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, happy 4th of July. You're probably watching this a little later, but that's all right. Happy 4th of July to all our people out there. Uh, And if you're watching us on YouTube, please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel, please. Things are starting to pop for us. You're going to want to get in on this early. For sure. Uh, So today we are talking about the defending Super Bowl champion Rams schedule prediction and fantasy relevance. Let's get it popping. Let's get it, baby. All right. Now, first off, I'm not a big Rams fan. Uh, possibly holding a grudge after that uh, NFC division game last year against the Buccaneers. That yeah. one hurt me. I had to take a, a little little bit off after that. Uh, but Matt Stafford should be a pretty decent fantasy option this year. What do you think? I think so. I, I definitely think so. I mean, uh, he's not going to be the best fantasy option, but no. I think that he will be. Uh, he'll be somebody that you can start as your QB one. Um, sure, for yeah. sure. He finished eleventh last year in fantasy points, uh, forty-one passing touchdowns. Uh, Cooper Cup's on pace to have a good season again. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, people are actually drafting Cup like first. Like yeah, with their I've, first I've, pick. yeah, I've I've seen him first. I've I've seen him mostly like second and third, mm-hmm. um, in my drafts that I've done. But I also think that like this is kind of changing fantasy because you know I've never seen wide receivers go that early. But when you're putting up points like Cooper Cup is, I don't, I don't see why you wouldn't take him that early. It's funny that you say that because there is this big thing going around with uh, drafts. They're saying no running back drafts. All start wide receivers. Get your running backs in the late rounds. Man, that goes against everything that I believe in. I agree. Yeah, that's scary. Uh, I've seen a few people say that that's baloney and don't do that unless you want to lose. <laughs> I mean, I think the biggest thing with people doing that is because they're talking about how the run, running backs always get injured and the wide receiver game is like all over the place. And then when you take when you use your your early round pick for a running back and he gets injured like, you know, McCaffrey in the last two years. Yeah. And they feel like it ruins their entire season. They're like, screw that. We'd rather just hop around on some backups as soon as somebody gets hurt. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I think you definitely need a good work workhorse back in your I stable. I mean, I had Henry Derrick Henry last year. Yeah, he only went eight games, but he did really well those eight games. <laughs> exactly, man. exactly. He finished he finished eighth in fantasy of all our in running backs. All yeah. the running backs, bro. And he only played eight games. <laughs> yeah. That's insane, bro. Oh King Henry. Anyway, uh let's see. <clears throat> Uh, Cam Cam Akers should be he should be at a hundred percent now, so yeah, I, I'm excited for Cam Akers. I still, you know, I still wonder about him, you know, and and I don't think he's you know in the top five by any means, but I definitely think he'd be a good 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 option for fantasy for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're saying he's like supposed to be the breakout star of the Rams this season. That's what I read. I, just, I think the Rams like to throw it. And I think that mm-hmm. um, they have the opportunity and the options, you know, to do that. And I think the Cam Akers is going to be the, the backup option yep. from throwing. You know what I mean? They're not a run first team. Hey, your boy Allen Robinson's over there going to work. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what he can do. We'll see. <laughs> Trey hates Allen Robinson. <laughs> yeah, he did him dirty last year. <laughs> I'll never forget it. <laughs> <laughs> i tell you what, though. If A-Rob doesn't do good this year, I mean, I, I I lose all faith in him. Like, I'd be done with him. Like, I'm giving him this year. If he can't do it with Stafford, then he's just not the guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, he might as well just go home. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're good. Hey, they picked up uh, Bobby Wagner on defense. My boy, man. I still got his Seahawks jersey, and I will wear that sucker, too, because I love him, bro. Hey, he's going to be scary behind Aaron Donald, dude, and And, Floyd. And, you know, they lost Von Miller, but then they filled him in with Bobby Wagner. And Mm -hmm. and personally, I feel like that's an upgrade. So do I. Um, I do, too. I just think with, with, you know, being a lot younger and everything like that and having that experience at at Seattle when he did the Legion of Boom and everything like that, like, he Mm -hmm. knows how to work with a solid defense, and they've got it. No doubt. 100%. No (laughs) doubt. Uh, I will say this. Jalen Ramsey is kind of looking like a shell of himself lately. What are you saying? Yeah, man. You know, and and I still think that he's one of the better defenders in in the league. But, you know, if, if he's where he used to be, I don't know. Um, we'll just have to see if he if he can pick it back up this year, you know. Because mm-hmm. um, I mean, they did their thing and they won the Super Bowl, so I can't harp on them too bad. <laughs> so let's let's go ahead and just get it started. We're gonna start uh, week one season opener, uh, week one against the Buffalo Bills. That's gonna yes, be sir. awesome. Good I way think to that start. Is the season. Be a great opener, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Bills. That might be tied with the uh, the Dallas and uh, Bucks game on best game yeah. of the week. Oh man, I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> Hey, the 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 Bills are a favorite to win the Super Bowl this year, though they're the favorite in Vegas. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, what do you got? You got the what do you got on that one? So when I when I made this, you know, my prediction and everything with with the schedule, at first I was like, I feel like I'm gonna have a hard time picking the Rams to lose it all, um, <laughs> just because they won the Super Bowl, you know. And it's like, how do you tell the Super Bowl champions they're gonna lose? But then the, the when I started doing it, I was like, mm-hmm. okay, maybe I'm I'm a little smarter than I thought. Uh, <laughs> But I got week one, I got Buffalo taking the dub. I got the Rams losing that game. Yeah, I got the Rams taking the L as well. Uh, Josh Allen, is, uh, he's like number one as far as quarterbacks coming off the board in, in most mock drafts that I've been in. And, you know, maybe it's the hype. Maybe it's all the hype around Buffalo, but I just really think that they're going to be a, uh, There's a lot. the next this year. There's a lot of hype around Buffalo this year. You're right. You are right. Uh I mean, Allen last year, he only threw 36 touchdowns. I mean, it's a lot still, but I mean, compared, that's not too many. I mean, that was seventh in the league among quarterbacks. Right. I just mm-hmm. think that they're, I think this is like, like last year was kind of a build kind of, you know, year and they still got where they got to get. Mm. And then this year, they're just going to blow people out. Then, you know, that, like I said, I feel like that has a lot to do with the hype around it. It's making mm-hmm. me think that way, but like, I just really feel like they're going to be a solid team. Mm hmm. I, I'm ex- still excited to see James Cook get rolling, bro. Yeah, bro, I can't wait. <laughs> I, I cannot wait to see what he brings to the table, bro. I mean, if Buffalo gets a decent running back, I mean, they're, we're no in trouble, bro. No we're in trouble. And, uh, hey, bro, when is Stephen, Stephon Diggs, bro? Like, is he just going to play forever and always be good? <laughs> uh, apparently. <laughs> apparently. I mean, he uh, just, he's – they don't they don't talk about him much, but he's just right there in the top of the wide receivers getting the fantasy points, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Every week. Yeah, I love Diggs. I, I pulled him, man. When he first went to Buffalo, I'm like, dude, he's gonna go off. He and he tore it up. I won that year, bro. Got first place in uh, most of my leagues that year. I had Allen I had a stack. I had Allen yeah. and Diggs, bro, and it was nice, nice. Mm-hmm. I will Absolutely. say though that uh, just just a brief hit for, for fantasy. I think Diggs has uh, one of the best floors as a wide receiver. Like um, mm-hmm. you know, if you're going to pick a couple versatile ones, yeah. uh, go ahead and grab Diggs so that way you know you can balance out your team a little bit because I think he's going to stay pretty steady every week. He'll have high weeks, but I think he'll always have decent. I don't think he'll ever mm-hmm. have you know just nothing weeks. Yeah, uh, Von Miller uh, they signed. I know we already talked about that, but Von Miller signed, and Von Miller's saying he's going to play all six years in Buffalo. <laughs> Oh, he wow. says he's gonna do that whole contract, do all yeah. six years, bro. He's getting old. He's getting a little old for that, bro. I, yeah, I was thinking. I was like, does he got six years, bro? <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know. The Bills are gonna come out swinging. I think their defense is gonna be good this year. Uh, let's keep it going. We're going week two. Atlanta Falcons. Yes, sir. What do you got the Dirty Birds sure. doing on them? I got the Rams taking the dub on that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. Uh, I mean, week two with Mariota just getting in, you know, mm-hmm. and running that, you know, a whole new offense. And it's Mariota that you're looking at. Yeah. Um, I just think the Rams defense will be too much, you know. Um, yeah. Drake London, rookie wide receiver, second game in the NFL. I just think it's it's not going to be enough to be able to take on a Super Bowl team. You know how I said before that I uh, I got pretty good at picking rookie wide receivers that are going to blow up? 
Mm-hmm. I'm getting some. I'm getting some something from Drake to London, man. I think he's gonna be good, bro. I just got I, that feeling. I agree with that, dude. And when I've been doing my mock drafts, it's been like Drake London and Traylon Burks, like right there next to each other. And I'm just like, man. Mm-hmm. I, I, <laughs> I hope Traylon goes off too, bro. Me too, man. I really do. <laughs> I like that dude. Honestly, I don't know what the Falcons look like with Marcus Mariota. I'm trying to picture that, and it's right. just, it just don't seem right to me. And, uh, you know, will Cordero Patterson, will he have a year like he had last year? You exactly, I mean? bro. Is that going to happen, or is that was that just like something crazy that came out of nowhere? Exactly. <laughs> uh, Mariota, he does have legs, though. You know, we have seen him run in the past. I mean, maybe, maybe he'll do something with that. Who knows? He, 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 I think will be a good bridge quarterback. If Desmond Ritter is the real deal, let him sit for a year. Get Mariota, you know, bridge over to, to dude. I think it'd be good. And let's yeah. not forget that Desmond Ritter said he is not leaving Atlanta until he wins the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah. now, on draft night, I'm not going to let him forget that, bro. <laughs> I, uh, I wouldn't. <laughs> uh Kyle Pitts, he's, he's got his feet wet now. You think Kyle Pitts is going to do something this year? Man, you know, I really was excited about Kyle Pitts till they got Mariota, and then I'm like, man, I don't mm-hmm. know. But I still think he'll be, you know, one of their one of their primary targets out there, and mm-hmm. uh, and I think he'll do work. You know what I mean? He'll so he'll have to, or otherwise they're just going to lose every game. Um, uh, yeah, he he jumped in though uh, when he was with the Raiders last year. I think Carr maybe got hurt. He jumped in at a game and dude tore it up. Yeah, he did really good. Yeah, I was surprised. I mean, it was just one game, but Mariota did, looked great in that game. So maybe that's let's what see. got him a yeah, starting job keep. in Atlanta. Yeah, let's let's keep going. We're going week three with the Arizona Cardinals. What do you got? I got the Rams taking the L. <laughs> so do I. Rams get the L on that one. <laughs> sure. Oh. Hey, that playoff game last year was pathetic, bro. I think the the Cardinals are gonna, uh, they got a bone to pick with them. You know what I'm saying? So they're gonna give it to them good. Well, and here's the deal. You know, Kyler Murray plays his best games in the first half of the season. Exactly. And, uh, so I think you know he'll go off, and they and the Cardinals will get off to a crazy start. I think maybe even like six and zero or something, and then it'll no, just they went eight. Do what they eight do. no last they year, last right? Year, yeah. Um, but I just think that, you know, they'll, they'll have that same year, kind of year and people will be like, Oh my God, the Cardinals are here. They're the thing, you know, whatever. And then they're just going to die off like they do. <laughs> well, D hop will be serving a six game suspension. So we won't exactly. get to see him until but what, after, Brown, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. We, we don't know. Spot. And James Conner, man, James Conner going to be dominant again this year. We'll see, man. We'll see. I, I'm excited <laughs> for James Conner. I'm, I'm also terrified for James Conner because <laughs> I don't know too. whether to draft him or not even think about him. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Look, it's I want to knock on some wood here, but I just got this weird feeling James Conner's going to get hurt. I don't want that to happen at all. I like James Conner. I'm probably going to draft him, but I just got this gut feeling that he's going to get hurt, bro. Yeah. I hope I'm wrong, though. Uh, they signed Daryl Williams, too. Pass catching back from KC. Yeah, and he, and he looked good when he was when he was playing for KC. Yeah, I, he I did. Was, I started him a couple times in. Fantasy. So did I. Yeah. Me too, dude. He was tearing it up, bro. Yeah. Let's keep this thing rolling. We're going week four, 49ers. What do you got? I have the Rams taking the L. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I got the Rams taking the W on that one, bro. I got vengeance from the playoffs, man. Shanahan has the Rams number, and it will show. I got to tell you the truth, man. I just don't trust Trey Lance. I don't know if he's the guy, bro. I need to see more. I, he didn't look like the guy when he started those couple games last year, I'll tell you that. That's true. That's true. And and really, my, my biggest reason behind giving uh, the 49ers the dub is Shanahan. And mm-hmm. uh, I think that he just, the way he coaches and everything like that, I think he'll be able to get Trey Lance into a position where they can win games. Do you think that Shanahan was the driving force behind that team? Not I, Not... Not Jimmy G's playing. You think that he did it in spite of Jimmy? I do. Mm, mm. I got a little prediction here. I think Jimmy G's going to be a Seahawk soon. Hey, we'll see, bro. I seen where the uh, Baker Mayfield. They had a couple different teams, and Seahawks is on there. And you know, Pete Carroll. He's been talking about how they, you know, they they like Baker Mayfield and they're excited about it, but they haven't really pulled any triggers or anything like that. But he likes to do that, and then out of nowhere, it'll be like, bam, you know. 
like three teams will make an offer for Baker Mayfield, and then out of nowhere, Pete Carroll comes in with like the most craziest <laughs> offer, and then they're like, "Oh, Seattle's got it." <laughs> and if that I happens, think- bro, DK Metcalf, I'm drafting you, dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah, if if Baker goes over there, you think th- that'd DK- be a good no, combo? I think, I think that'll be fantasy relevant. I don't know mm. about you know game yeah. winning, but I think he'll <laughs> put up some points. Yeah, yeah. I think I think Baker Mayfield's gonna be a a Panther next year, bro. We'll see, man. We'll see. Mm-hmm. Baker and Christian McCaffrey might might be something. Speaking of Christian McCaffrey, I, I think Christian McCaffrey is gonna be comeback player of the year, bro. Hey, bro. I, I'm not even gonna lie. I kind of agree with you, bro. I, I did a mock draft. I got him in the eighth uh, eighth pick, and I was mm-hmm. like, I feel like that's that's that just won me this whole turn. If I was in this league, that won me the league. <laughs> that's a good pick. If you got if you were if he fell to you in the eighth round, that's yeah, a man. good pick, bro. Yeah. Listen, Christian McCaffrey, comeback player of the year. Write that down. Write it down. All right, let's keep it moving. We're going week five. We got the Dallas Cowboys. I got the Rams. Taking a W on that one. What you got? I also had the Rams taking a W, and I said the same thing in our Dallas schedule uh, <laughs> post. And I, the reason why, if you guys don't remember, if you haven't watched it, go back and watch it. But I said that if it was in Dallas, if the game was at Dallas, I would think it would be a different story. But since it's at the Rams, I think that the Rams are going to be able to pull it through. Mm-hmm. I think Zeke is going to be a bust this year. Sorry, Zeke, we had to do it to you again, <laughs> again. buddy. Again? <laughs> we should get like a meme of Zeke's head and just pound yeah. it. <laughs> just him doing that stupid thing where he always like eating, eating them yards. Yeah. You know, I, I hate when he does that, but it's <laughs> so annoying, bro. God. I will say this, though. Dak needs to show out this year. He needs I to. Think, I do think that that game is going to be a low-scoring game, though. I think both their defenses are some of the best defenses in the league, and mm-hmm. I think that it'll be a, yeah. a big defensive game. I will say this, man. What's weird is that the Cowboys, they've been very quiet this offseason. I'm a little worried they might be good just because, <laughs> just because – there's so much unexpected stuff in the NFL, and it's always the like the last thing you would expect to happen. It's I been agree. quiet on the Cowboy front. Just remember that. Expect the unexpected. Every day. Hey, I got a question for you. Go ahead. C.D. Lamb, will he be top 10 this year? I'm going to say 11. <laughs> Yeah, just like right that. on the cusp bro just <laughs> right, right down there. <laughs> oh let's keep rolling we're going week six with the carolina panthers i got a rams taking the w on that one obviously <laughs> hey you never know you never know <laughs> i still see people taking mccaffrey first pick though no, honestly yeah. And I think McCaffrey will still be the only thing that helps them. If they get a dub, it'll be on the back of Christian McCaffrey. McCaffrey scares me, bro. Like, I am so afraid to draft that guy. Even though I just said that I think he's going to be comeback player of the year, which I do, it still terrifies me to think about drafting him with my first pick. Well, yeah, the last two years that somebody did that, bro, they got devastated over it because Mm -hmm. of his injuries. Mm-hmm. I mean, well, uh, he, he's won the award for the most disappointing fantasy running back the last two years. Oh, no. Oh, CMC, say it ain't so, baby. <laughs> hey, if you remember last year, though, Sam Darnold, he took off in the beginning of the season. Like, yeah. he went like four, what, four, in, no, four wins, no, no losses, and I'm like, dude, Sam Darnold, it was the Jets that was messing <laughs> him up, bro. He's, a, he's, a, he's the GOAT. Not really, but, but you know what I'm saying. But he had McCaffrey all those games too, right? Yeah, yeah. But I don't know what happened, bro. He fell off a cliff, bro. He he just started throwing the ball to the wrong team. I mean, <laughs> oof. Week seven, we have a bye week for the Rams. Yes, sir. And they'll get a dub that week. <laughs> oh, yeah, naturally. Uh, while we're waiting on the bye week, uh, I'm going to take a moment here to let you guys know about Dr. Squatch. Dr. Squatch has all natural soaps, toothpaste, deodorant, all kinds of stuff for you guys. I actually bought a bar of the uh, Wood Barrel Bourbon. It it smelled good, bro. It smelled good. It's made in the good old US of A. Now, right now, if you use our link in the description, you get 10% off or use promo code DSCSquatch10. 
You want to make the ladies go crazy? Hit up your boy, Dr. Squatch. Mm. We also uh, would like to shout out Melon. We, uh, you see we got a new thing going on here on our podcast here. Melon, they're awesome. You got to check them out. Hit me up in the comments. I'll send you a link and get you a discount on that. Heck yeah, bro. Yes, sir. Let's move it on. We're going week eight. 49ers again. Yes, sir. <laughs> what you got? I have the Rams taking the W. So do I. I got the Rams taking the W again, sweeping the Niners. You got bro. them sweeping the Niners? See, Sweet. I have them winning the first one and, and or, uh, losing the first game against the Niners and winning the second one. And this is why I didn't say anything when you brought up D uh, Hop. Um, because I think that D-Hop's going to be back this game, and I think it's going to yeah. hurt the Cardinals. Mm, wow. Hurt them? Why do you say that? Because they got it's going to be a battle for wide receiver one between Marquise Brown and D-Hop, and I think both of them is like, you know, there ain't enough people – or there ain't enough uh, in the town for the two of us or whatever, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this team ain't big enough for the both of us, bro. Exactly, exactly. I don't know. D-Hop is, I think, the best wide receiver – skills wise in the nfl bro marquise brown is like a what number three bro d hop will show him what's up nice and early bro but the whole first half of the year you've got kyler murray and marquise brown practicing every day building that relationship like it just i just don't know how it's gonna play out and i think that's gonna cause the rams to take that dub i just don't trust trey lance bro i need to see more i know i said this already but i need to see more I'm if he can be sure but I know you are. I know you are, bro. I know you are. If he can be smart, think fast, sit in the pocket, and stop trying to worry about running the ball, which, you know, being that it is the Shanahan's running is their thing, but not you, bro, them. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> oh. And then I also wonder, though, uh, in, in get, by game eight, it, because I, there's still so many questions around Debo Samuel, dude. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like, I just he'll don't be know. there, and, and he'll that's be there. my hope, bro. I really do, but, but I don't think he's gonna be running the ball like he was, right? I think he's telling, uh uh, bro, uh uh, I'm a wide receiver, I want to get paid like a wide receiver, and I want to be treated like a wide receiver because he, he's hurting himself, bro, doing that. He's yeah. hurting his career, he's shortening it. What's crazy is they gave him so much. Debo's amazing, bro. Look at him, bro. He's like a a running a wide receiver running back, right? And now that the season's over and we're between seasons, they're like, oh, he can't be doing that. Like, talking all the smack <laughs> on him, bro. Like, dude, yeah. you were just talking about how great he was six months ago. <laughs> bro. Okay, week nine. Week nine, we got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, baby. I already know what you got. <laughs> the Rams are taking the L, baby. 100%. I have the Rams taking the dub. Oh my god, bro. That hurts me like deep inside, I bro. I know. I know. <laughs> Listen, if the Bucks can stay have healthy, I think we can get the win the win here. We haven't beat them yet. But that playoff game was something, bro. I was so mad watching that game, bro. And then I was so happy. <laughs> yeah. And Almost. then so mad again. <laughs> Almost. I know, dude. I'm like, oh my God, it's Tom Brady doing his thing, bro. This is it, bro. This is what he does, right? And he doesn't then, have enough time. Uh, blue on coverage, dude. Antoine Winfield right over him. Cooper Cup. Blip. And then it was just over that quick. As, as mm -hmm. quick as it got started. Oh, I think Tom Brady's going to be throwing dimes this year. I'm going to draft him as my quarterback. I mean, you, not like you he's know that. He's on but the board. He'll be there, bro. He will hey, be there. took the from me last year. Uh-uh. She ain't going to do me like that this year. If she does, I'll take Josh Allen, and that'll, that'll, that'll piss there her off. Go. There you go. Then y'all <laughs> just trade for week one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, uh, Let's see. Uh, Leonard Fournette. Man, he's getting a lot of – they're saying a lot of good things about uh, Lenny this year, man. And, I and think they should. Mm-hmm. He was killing it last year, bro. Killing it. My only worry is Rashad White, the rookie they picked up uh, with him. Like, I was like, oh, yeah, they got Rojo out. Rojo, every time that guy touched the ball, it scared the crap yeah. out of me. But uh, with Rashad White, he's a pass-catching back, dude, and that's, like, right up Tom Brady's alley, bro. Yeah. 
Um, I just think that the the Rams defense at this point is just going to be really hard to stop. And Josh, cover your ears. Two sacks on Brady from Aaron Donald. Say what? I don't know what you said, but. <laughs> <laughs> write it down. Oh, uh, don't, don't, don't write that down. Uh, <clears throat> Mike Evans going to go over a thousand yards again, though. Don't oh, you think? for sure. Yeah, I'm, there... I, I think Mike Evans is going to be possibly wide receiver one this year, like oh, out of everybody. Be Cooper Cup, everything. Oh, really? You? Oh, you're yeah, thinking like he's going to be one in fantasy wide receiver? Ooh, hot Mike take, Evans. bro. Yeah, I said that. I said let's go, Mike Evans, uh, first wide receiver off the board, and people gave me so much crap for that, bro. Yeah, like but... I mean, like I'm still probably going to take Cooper Cup. <laughs> if, if I had to on in, in a draft, but I really have a feeling that Mike Evans is like really going to just destroy this year. I agree. <laughs> let's keep it rolling, bro. As much as I could talk about the Bucks all day long, let's right. keep it rolling. To week 10, we got the Cardinals again. What you got? I have the Rams taking the W. Me too. Me, I got the Rams taking the W too. Getting closer to the end of the season. Is that mm-hmm. right? Is that what you were thinking? Stars declining as a quarterback. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. And if it happens again this year, like exactly like that, then something needs to be done about that. They need to do something, dude, to make it to where he's good towards the end of the season, dude. Kyler's a good quarterback to have in fantasy, though, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. I think he's good. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that his running capabilities will um, give him the fantasy points that he needs. You know what I'm saying? And and he he's still a good passer too. I just I don't know, man. They just they die out. They yep. they climax at, at mid season. Mm-hmm. Hey, D Hop will be back by that time, definitely. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen. Keep it rolling, week eleven. The New Orleans Saints. <laughs> what do you got? I have the Rams taking the W. Ooh, I got I the Rams back and forth on that, but uh huh. I got the Rams taking the L, baby. There you go. <laughs> uh, I just don't know what the Saints are going to look like yet, and I need to see them play. I well, Jameis Winston got LASIK surgery a year or two back. He's healthy now. He yeah. can see better, not to throw the interceptions, you know. So hopefully, he knew, at least he knows what they look like, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, as a Bucks fan, the Saints defense scares the hell out of me. I will say mm-hmm. that. Yeah. I, I've seen them play ridiculous against us and then play just horrible against other people, dude. Yeah, man. And I feel like, I don't know if that's like a, just like a conspiracy, you know, like. They're like, oh, it's Brady. We got to be on our top of our game, trick, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. And they like, and they turn up on Brady and then. I don't know. Or maybe, Why they got to do us just, like they that? They just have Brady's weakness. You know what I'm saying? Like, they just... They got his Juju. number. Yeah. Hey, you leave Juju out of this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was just playing. Hey, uh, Kamara will be off his suspension. He probably has something to prove. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. And, and, I, and I, I'm so upset. Like, uh, I don't think they've said how, many, how long he's going to be suspended yet, have they? I want to say they said six games. Okay. Or... I feel um, like that. That's. I think that's what I heard. I just didn't know if it was final or not. But um, I just. I like. He's still going really high in the draft too, man. And I'm just. That's mm. so scary to me to take a player mm-hmm. that's going to be suspended. Well, I think because it was violent that it's a uh, like automatic at least six game suspension yeah. in the NFL. Yeah, that's scary, bro. I don't know if I could take him like with my first pick, bro. Like, and not knowing I'm not going to get anything out of him until halfway through yeah. the year. I mean, they're thinking I, ahead, bro, but Jesus. <laughs> right, and I know he's good, but I'm just like, you know, maybe like in the, in the late, late rounds and just have him sitting on the bottom of my bench, hopefully not filling a spot that I need, but mm-hmm. he's not going that late. Somebody's going to take him, and they're going to have to deal with it all year, and I'll let him do yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yep. This and is key. Michael Thomas ever going to play again? Yeah, he's supposed to be or, back. He's supposed to be uh, back yeah, this he's year. supposed to be. <laughs> but dude, dude's still acting like he's hurt. <laughs> I'm like, bro. <laughs> I don't know. You would you draft him? Are you gonna draft him? No, I'm not drafting Michael Thomas. No, um, he would have fell I... to you like ninth round. He's still there. I don't put my leg on it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's gonna play, bro. I think he's yeah. in there. 
I'm just, I just, I need to see it, bro. That's what I'm saying. Every, mm-hmm. Everything, I need to see it. I yeah. want to see him. Yeah, I, I want to see Kamara. I want to see Winston all working together. I need to I'm... see it. And when it, and when they murder, I'll know. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll all know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's keep going. Week 12, Kansas City Chiefs. I have the Rams taking the L. I have the Rams taking the W. Wow, we're <laughs> we're split on a lot of these yeah. this time. I like it. I like yeah. it. Uh, what what? Why you think that? Why why you think so, they're gonna get them? In twelve meetings, the Chiefs have won seven of five. Okay. Okay. And oh no! Like <laughs> 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 I got the Chiefs taking the dub. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, so I yep. got the Chiefs taking the dub because in okay. 12 meetings, the Chiefs have won so far seven wins and five losses, and they're going to make it eight wins and five losses. Mahomes has a good game and a close one, high scoring, and I can't wait to watch it, but I think the Chiefs take the dub. Hmm. Andy Reid, he's a genius, offensive mind. They got For the sure. rookie, Sky Moore. Catching them deep balls from Patty Mahomes, what do you think? I could see that Man, in the future. I'm excited, bro. I really like, and and like, I think I really think it's the name, bro. It's the name <laughs> sky. Thing because it's Sky Moore, bro. Like he's gonna go <laughs> for the sky. He's gonna catch him out the sky, exactly, right out of the sky. And how many does he want? He wants more. <laughs> exactly, bro. Like, dude, it's, it's it's perfect. It's a perfect setup. I need to see his birth certificate. Is that legit name, or did he make that uh, up? It sounds fresh. It sounds pretty fresh. It's so dope, bro. <clears throat> Travis Kelsey's still the number one tight end in the NFL. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I still agree. Yeah, for now. I mean, there's not very many like top top tight ends. So yeah. I mean, that's just know. because somebody you know, because um, you know, Mark Andrews did so well last year, or whatever. I still think that uh, Travis Kelsey holds that spot. Hmm. He's I also getting a little think older, he's though. Be the wide receiver one on their team still, <laughs> <laughs> and they're tight end one. <laughs> tight end wide receiver one, got it. <laughs> All right, week thirteen, the Seahawks. Seahawks. <laughs> what do you got? Uh, I got the Rams taking the W. Obviously, yeah. Um, me I mean, what Drew Lock. Uh, Geno Smith. There's some Geno Smith lovers out there too. If you're if you are a Geno Smith lover, I apologize, but he just don't got it. <laughs> no, he don't. And like, yeah, and I agree with you. Uh, they can't do anything with Drew Locke behind uh, center. Um, now, if they sign Baker Mayfield, I might be inclined to change that. Uh, mm, yeah, that loss for the Seattle. I really might. Yeah, um, but it'll as definitely right be now, interesting. I'm, uh, I'm 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 thinking it's gonna be a blowout. Rams taking home. I agree, and I think the Seahawks are going to be absolutely boring this year. I hate to say it, but I've seen a couple of people predicting their uh, predict doing their prediction for the Seattle for Seattle um, on their record. Two of them had them having zero wins, and one Oof. of them had them have one win. And I'm like, there's that not bad. even a team that's ever had zero wins in a whole season. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yeah, there has the Cleveland has, Browns. I thought last year they were uh, Detroit was going to be it, but then they started winning. I'm pretty sure that's happened. Like, like, think the Jags went oh and didn't win any in a All couple years, years back. Bro, that's that's so sad for the fan base. Like, I, I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's happened. And oh, can you imagine, bro? Oh, oh, dude, if think right now, if the Bucks didn't win a single game next year, bro. Oh my god, dude! How would you feel about football? <laughs> I would still love it, but oh, I don't know. Oh, that's awful to think. Don't about. even you know say that, <laughs> right. bro. Don't don't put that juju on me. <laughs> don't bring juju up. <laughs> My bad. No hey, Kenny. Here. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Kenneth Walker though, ty, uh, rookie. I'm 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 kind of excited to watch him. I guess. I mean, I hear people talk, and I'm like, okay, whatever. But I just, I just, Seattle's boring, man. They're so boring. Yeah, you know? I don't know. It sucks. I, I know that used to be your 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 people, man. I used to love Seattle. Doesn't that hurt a little bit saying it Seattle's does. gonna it, be boring, it does, bro? But like Russell Wilson's not there. Richard Sherman's not there. Bobby Wagner's not there. They're what made me love that team. So I'm just like, you know. Pete Carroll. Still there? You're... Yeah, he's still there smacking his bubble double. <laughs> still chewing that same gum from when they were there. 
<laughs> oh, all right, let's keep rolling. Week 14, the Las Vegas Raiders. I got the Rams taking the L, baby. As do I. Ooh. As do I. Hell yeah. Derek Carr is going to go off this year. I just got that feeling, bro. I just feel like Derek Carr is going to go off. Not just because of Devontae, bro, but he has been slowly but surely getting better, bro. I agree. Um, and and honestly, the thing that, that holds the, the Raiders back, I think, is their division, bro. Like, mm -hmm. that's the only reason why I don't think that they're just going to murder everyone because they have such a strong division. That's a scary division, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's nuts and and you know we'll, we'll talk about divisions at a later date you know we're definitely uh -huh. gonna do something about that so y'all be uh -huh. ready waiting for that one but mm -hmm. uh yeah i just mm -hmm. i think that uh Derek carr with Devonte adams and hunter rimfro and all of them i think that they're gonna be too much for the rams mm -hmm. yeah and they got a decent d line too so uh i'm thinking stafford gets it once or twice oh get a sure. sack on him once or twice at least bro at least I think that'd be our game of the week that week, probably. Oh, Don't you I think? think? So. I think so, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got a question for you, though. How do you feel about Josh Jacobs? <sighs> Josh Jacobs. I mean, I, I like him, but when I watch him play, he doesn't wow me, bro. Yeah. I, I, I would take him, like, way later if I needed, like, an RB3, but I just, I don't, I don't think he's the guy, bro. He has Even flashes. Then. Yeah, really? Even, yeah. Even as an RB three, I'd probably rather take a rookie just to see what they can do. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just, I think he's not that great, bro. I mean, he has well, flashes, yeah. but when I watch him, he's like one to two yard, three yard, two yard, two yard. I'm like, dude, throw the ball, <laughs> <laughs> break a tackle. <laughs> yeah, bro. Jesus. Oh, yeah. All right, let's keep going. We're we're almost there. We're getting there. Week fifteen, we've got Green Bay Packers. Yes, sir. We got. I got the Rams taking the dub. Me too. Me too. I already knew what you was gonna say, baby. Rams taking the W. Aaron Rodgers. Overrated. Going... Oof. <laughs> yes, sir. Still going high on drafts though, like third or fourth QB off the board. Sometimes second, third. He just doesn't have enough threats, man. As wide receivers, I just don't see oh. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't either. Uh, no Devonte, that that hurts for sure. Because every time he threw the ball, that's who he was throwing to. What we say? Thirty against the Super Bowl champions, bro. Aaron Rodgers chokes against Super Bowl contenders. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, let's see. The Lizard King, the Lazard King. Alan Lazard. The Lazard King. I keep fucking it up. <laughs> the Lazard King, Alan Lazard. It's probably going to be his, what, one? <laughs> yeah, I think so. And you know what? I think he'll actually have a decent year because of that yeah. fact. Because Aaron mm -hmm. Rodgers got nobody else to throw to. And I think everybody's going to be hyped on Alan Lazard this year just because of that. Um, and maybe, I, you know what, I guarantee you next year he gets a contract, whether it's with mm. them or somewhere, but he's going to get one of those Christian Kirk type contracts. Aaron, Aaron Rodgers is going to put him there, but it's still not going to get them to where they want to be. Uh, speaking of wide receivers and the Packers, so talks are saying that Julio Jones is coming to the Packers. You see what he did last year? You remember? <laughs> yeah, I remember. Is it going to matter, there. bro? Is he, he's going to roll yeah. his ankle every game. <laughs> What the hell, Julio? What happened to you? You're shelling yourself, bro. God, I was so hyped about him with Tennessee, bro. I was, I was like, dude, he couldn't stay healthy. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, AJ Dillon, Aaron Jones. It's hard to trust one of them because of the other. That's true, but I like Aaron Jones for the simple fact that, uh, I mean, uh, Aaron Rodgers doesn't have the wide receivers that he needs, so checking down mm. to Aaron Jones, I feel like he'll be a good mm. villain right there. Um, I'm liking Aaron Jones a lot in drafts, man. I keep seeing me grab him as my RB two, like really, yeah. Because people like are getting Aaron away Jones. from him, you know what I mean. And and I think mm -hmm. that I think that his pass catching upside with Aaron Rodgers because of his wide receiver core, I think what will boost him at least into that's the a, top ten. That's a fair point. That's a fair point. Uh, only thing is, AJ Dillon has seemed to have been thrusting his way and is like the the number one right running back there. Yeah, That's I agree. That's what scares I agree. me. 
Let's have what? to see how it plays out. Mm -hmm. But I think you're right. I think you're right. Week 16, Denver Broncos. That's your team. That's your team. You we know got. what I got, baby. The Rams <laughs> going to take the fat L, boy. Oh, I got the Rams taking the W. Shh. Whatever. I'm killing them Broncos, bro. I don't even like the Rams. <laughs> Listen, bro. Russell Wilson's going to show the Rams what he can do with a real offense. Mm, a real offense? I mean, he took that offense, that not real offense you're speaking of, to the Super Bowl, but whatever. Well, that was way back. <laughs> I'm talking about last year's offense at Seattle. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was garbage, bro. Straight garbage. Everybody blame that on uh, Russell Wilson. I think... The whole year, bro. I don't I'm see it, bro. Like, it was the team, bro. Put him on a team. He finna clutch it up. I hope you're right. I want. I hope you're right. I do think Cortland Sutton is going to be the number one, not Jerry Judy. I agree, completely. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, I think him and Russ are just going to have a like good chemistry. You know what I mean? And you know what I want to see because nobody's talking mm. about this, bro. But I really want to see Russell Wilson and Tim Patrick take off together. Hmm. Nobody is talking about that. You're right. Nobody's bro. talking about Tim Patrick, bro. And last Tim year, Patrick. bro, he was consistent, bro. Uh, I mean, I forgot all about Tim Patrick, bro. You know why? His name's Tim Patrick. <laughs> That's why, Damn. bro. The name strikes again. <laughs> it's the name, Jesus. Bro. Oh my God. Hey, Melvin Gordon over there holding Javante Williams back from being a true number one running back. Yep, and I was really hoping Melvin Gordon would get traded so Javante Williams would take off and be, you know, top five uh, running back. And people are still uh -huh. drafting him that high, and I'm just like, uh, you know, what's crazy I is I, Melvin dr Gordon. Mm -hmm. I drafted Javante Williams last year, and I held on him. He didn't do nothing for the first few games, and so guess what? I dropped him, bro. And then Mofo took off, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that one hurt. <laughs> Do you know that Melvin Gordon has only had one season over a thousand yards in his eight years? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's sad. That is sad. That blows my mind. I, I just thought he did better in, in LA for some reason. Speaking of LA, we're moving on to week 17 against the LA Chargers. We got LA versus LA. <laughs> Wild. <laughs> I bet people in L.A. are going to be psyched for this one. <laughs> right. L.A. wins. That's what we pick. <laughs> yeah, put that on Vegas, bro. <laughs> Write it down. And that's right. Uh, what do you got for that game, by the way? I have the Rams taking the W. Mm, I've got L.A. taking the W. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I've got the Rams taking the L, baby. Yeah, I've seen that coming. <laughs> Herbert's in, been in there for three years now. I mean, they're building a great team around him. He should have his feet wet. He should be ready to go. I just think that that late in the season, uh, the Rams are going to be uh, trying to get work harder to get that playoff position and everything like that. And I think their defense will just be too much for Herbert. But I do mm. think it'll be a very, very close game. Mm. Well, the defense is looking fire over there and in, in, on the Chargers. Like, they got J.C. Jackson – uh, from New England, which I can't believe New England let him go, but whatever. Their defense looking kind of scary. Bro, have we talked about New England at all? Uh, I don't I think so. A moment, bro. We talked just, about Mac Jones about once. Uh, well, we did talk about Mac Jones, right? We talked about yeah, him getting yeah, in shape yeah, or something a little bit, little bit, <laughs> in the overrated I mean, episode. They're just, I don't know. I'm sorry, all Patriot fans, but it's just like ever since Tom left, it just ain't the same. Hey. They know. Brady come back. <laughs> Brady come back. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Let's keep going. Week 18. Seahawks again. Rams take the W again. 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 <laughs> By this time, the Hawks should just be about ready to pack it up and call it a season. Yeah, basically you know? a bye week for the Rams, <laughs> probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'll be, they'll be resting starters, you think? I don't know. Oh, Crazy sure, things yeah. happened. You know, Smith will be out there <laughs> scrambling, throwing interceptions. It's <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's let's think. Let's go. Final predictions. Final record, Trey. What do you got? I got the Rams going eleven and six. 
Hmm, 11 and 6. I mean, I thought you said that they were going to have a hard time picking them to lose ever. Well, towards the end of the year, you know, but the first the first couple games, I was surprised that I was just like, L, L, mm-hmm. L. Me too. <laughs> you know what I'm, I'm like, I got to get them a W on here somewhere. <laughs> and, you know, last year they went 12 and 5, so I, I'm, I'm saying they're going to have a worse yeah. year than last year. Yeah. But I still think that they're going to be a contender. You know what I'm saying? I've got them going 10 and 7, actually, so... 10 and 7 wild card team NFC championship game and they're going to lose that to who that's, that's what I'm thinking that's what I'm thinking to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers baby hey, <laughs> hey. there you go there you go hey you know how we are man we got with I got homeboy piecing out Tyreek Hill back here that's what they're going to do to old, uh Matthew Stafford in the Cooper Cup be like deuces baby <laughs> 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 hey, bro, that'll be a good game, bro. Mm-hmm. Sure. I agree. Yes, sir. I agree. Hey, Trey, you got anything else you want to tell the people? Yeah, here? yeah. I wanted to uh, do a throw out about the uh, Adrian Peterson and Le'Veon Bell fight. Oh, uh, if you yes. haven't heard about that, it's a boxing fight. Uh, I'm not sure when it is, but um, they're supposed mm-hmm. to be boxing each other, bro. And I'm like, that's so crazy to me now that all these people are famous people are just like, know. hey, you know what? Let's box and make some money. <laughs> <laughs> They're just trying to be out there, bro. They're just trying to get oh, some hype sure. on their name, dude. Especially Le'Veon. He ain't had hype in a while. That's true, but I love Le'Veon Bell. <laughs> I'm not. I, I I know you do. I remember you loved him, bro. You yeah, had him like your first year. Kills, bro. Yeah, he carried yeah. my team, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, yeah, now he can't carry shit. <laughs> bro, I mean, like, he had a little, he had a couple spurts at the Ravens. You know what I'm saying? He he did a couple plays that I was like, "Hey, look, look a little," look. but you know, he didn't. He could take over. He was on the Bucks last year. Did you know that? Yeah, he didn't. He moved to the Bucks after the Ravens dropped him or something like that for like two games or something. He yeah. got a couple touchdowns. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, so because this is football, not necessarily it's boxing, but since it's football players, we're going to give you the stats. Let's do so it. So we have. Adrian Peterson, who is 6'1", 217 pounds, okay? He is 37 years of age, mm. and he has 32 and a fourth arm length, mm. all right? Okay. So Le'Veon Bell is 6'1", 225, so same height, a little bit heavier, mm-hmm. 31.5 inch arm length, so a little bit shorter arms, mm. and he's 30 years of age. Mm. So seven year difference there. <laughs> That's what I think is going to be the defining factor. Mm. Yeah, I do too, bro. That's seven <laughs> years. Did you see yeah. Adrian Peterson last year, bro. What was he on Seahawks for like a minute? Yeah, he didn't have nothing, bro. He was trying so hard he couldn't get anywhere. Yeah, I just think the age thing is going to be uh, Le'Veon Bell going to end up KO in the second round. Write it down. <laughs> I don't know. Adrian Nielsen got a big old freaking neck. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and honestly, he feels a little hood to me. You know, like you know, he's uh, playing a fight, fight a couple times in his past. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Yeah, he can be that type to like get the blood and like look at it and taste that shit. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, <laughs> bite off his ear. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> Oof. Y'all uh, check the fight out. Uh, do your research. Let us know in the email uh, who you think is gonna win that fight. That's right. Don't forget to email the show, fourthinflex at gmail.com. It's at the bottom of the screen. Don't forget to check out. Yes, sir. Don't forget to check out these right here. We're on we're on Twitter. We're on Instagram. We're everywhere. Hit us up, guys. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time. Yeah. Yeah. Hit hit it and go. I've already hit it. Actually. (laughs) All right, let's do it. You've been listening to the Fourth and Flex Fantasy Football Podcast. And here we go, here we go. If you love anything and everything pro football, then you found your new home. We hope you've enjoyed the show. We know we had a blast. Make sure to like, rate, and review. And we'll be back soon 
But in the meantime, questions and comments at fourthandflex at gmail.com. Find us on Instagram at fourthandflex and on Twitter at fourthandflexpod. See you next time on the Fourth and Flex Fantasy Football Podcast.